A federal court order now gives California two years to reduce its prison population by about 5,000 prisoners. And one of the ways the state plans to meet that goal is by sending inmates to community correctional facilities. 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas went to Taft today where their CCF is getting set to open in about two weeks. The Taft CCF closed in October 2011 when the state stopped sending inmates here. Now it's just days from reopening again with state inmates. We're relieved, of course. Uh, we're glad to get our senior staff back. Uh, we're glad to be able to employ some more people from the within the county. One of the first things you notice when you come out here to the Taft CCF is the parking lot is full. It was empty for almost two years, but now is full with the cars of CCF employees. They are in current training. Some are here today uh, working on the facility, uh, helping with uh, a lot of little things that we have to get done. Several modifications had to be made to the facility before the inmates start arriving on the 24th. Some infrastructure changes because we're going from a minimum inmate to a medium inmate. The most obvious is the addition of a second fence uh, with a microwave intrusion alarm. Some of the staff will be made up of officers who worked here before. The rest of the 70 employees are new hires. We had about 16 people who have returned. Uh, and uh, most of those folks are filling our senior position. The federal court ruling announced yesterday has set a strict timeline for the state to reduce its inmate population. It has no impact on us. We're helping them to relieve their overcrowding. State prison officials say they will rely on CCS to house some inmates. 512 inmates to start with. We're hoping to increase the contract to 600 once we get open. Chris Ornelas, 23 ABC. The state is using a long list of strategies to meet that 2016 deadline. For a full list, just go to our website, turn to 23.com.